Okay, um, one of the things you'll notice now, if you look at the tank, um, just about to feed, but you'll notice that one of the other polychaete worms uh, right over here has come out. And as I say, this one is larger and somewhat more colorful than the, uh, the one to the left of it. But I'm, I'm just going to put the food in the tank right now and see if we can coax some of the other animals in here. There are over 20 different species of animals in this tank right now. So um, it's not always obvious exactly what's in the tank because a lot of the things uh, hide behind rocks. And I'm going to see what I can do to coax some of them out. Now sometimes, uh, what I'm kind of hoping I'll be able to do is get the serpent star and starfish to come out. Because that has a tendency. Uh, you'll notice the clownfish are coming out right now. They'll probably start nipping at my hands in a moment. The two clownfish that you see, uh, one of them is about twice the size of the other one. That's a female. This, these are a mated pair, and uh, we should be uh, see see some spawning soon. Clownfish are interesting. They all start out as uh, males, and then one of them changes sex and becomes a female. So what I'm putting in the tank right now that these clownfish are uh, voraciously eating. Oh, here comes the serpent star. Uh, so he usually does come out, he tends to hang, hang out behind the rocks, but uh, you can see him uh, right over here, uh, he's coming out right now, so let's see what we can do, we can get him to come out a little bit more, there he goes, he's coming over to the, um, the polychaete worm, and this is one of the faster moving, or fastest moving starfish, so most starfish uh, move very, very slowly, we've got another one in here that I can show you. You can see the speed at which this thing uh, is moving. It, it, if it wants to, it, it can really move quite rapidly. Okay, let's see. I'm going to back up in a moment and see if I can show you some other things that are going on in here. Uh, around the corner here, I can bring the, I have to pick the camera up and see if I can move it into position to be able to see this. A little difficult to see, and it's really not. Uh, okay, we've got another shrimp. Perhaps you'll be able to see this. I'm going to try to move move this over, and you'll see that we've got a uh, another shrimp. Oh no, no, that shrimp uh, isn't really happy with me. He just he's moving behind a rock, and I'm unfortunately uh, I have this camera set up in such a way that it's. You noticed? I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a shrimp. Uh, there's also um, the emerald crab is over here, and I'm at an unusual angle. I can't straighten the camera out because I've got a bookcase that's actually in the way there. Something uh, just kicked up a huge uh, cloud of sand. Oh, here comes the shrimp. You can see the shrimp a little bit better now. I'm going to set this back here and see if there's a way. You know, I guess I can't set this up because um, I can't really see exactly what you're seeing here. But see the shrimp. And down here is a very unusual animal. He's actually attached to the rock right now. Uh, this is a, uh, an electric uh, fire scallop. And this particular animal, um, I don't know if you can see this or not, he's, his shell is pretty closed up because I was bothering him a little while ago. I tried to move him and he wasn't happy about that. Um, but he's got beautiful um, orange, uh, they almost they almost look like, uh, it almost looks like the top of a feather duster, but he's got these orange uh, uh, um, uh, appendages that actually come out of the, once the shell opens up, and it almost looks like a, a, a bright orange, uh, a flame, flaming orange, uh, um, it's a flaming orange color, and um, the interesting thing about this thing is that if we could make this entirely dark, this organism is also bioluminescent, so we'd actually be able to see periodically, be able to see flashes of light from it. Uh, over here, I don't know if you can get this in the corner, is a chocolate chip uh, starfish. I don't know whether you're seeing that or not, because as I say, I don't, unfortunately, I can't see, I can't see the camera. But it's all the way uh, down in the corner here. 
hopefully I'm aiming the camera at it, but I'm not entirely sure whether I am or not. And again, it's at an unfortunate angle. All right, I'm going to bring some of these, I'm going to bring this around again to the front of the tank where I can set it up. And we'll just set it down now. And I'll have more to say about this uh, in a later video.